Creator's child presents from dog to angel. On a lovely morning, a lot like this, Buffy had come with us to the park. Well, you may ask, so what's a big deal? Why should it be a big deal if someone's dog comes with them to the park? Well, <laughs> Buffy had been dead several years. And so, it was a big deal for her to come with us to the park in a form so strong that we could at times see it with naked eyes. But before we move further, may we introduce ourselves. I'm Tarun Cherin, and together with Celia, we lead Creator's Child. We have both personally been exploring the far scapes of the spiritual, the heart of God. In Celia's case, for about three and a half decades, and in my case, for five decades. Our spiritual journey was particularly enhanced when a ball of fur entered into our lives 25 years ago. You can read more about her and her journey in Buffy's Doggy Revelations. It's available at Amazon, but you can pick up a paperback copy from us at creatorschild.com. As we delved further, we realized that there was so much to Buffy's accompanying us to the park. For she hadn't just come to us, with us to the park. This time, as she was walking, we could see that she had not just the usual four paws, but an incredible 16 or 24 paws. So what was going on? And when we asked her, she was delighted. For she was undergoing a major spiritual exercise in the inner universe. Where she had to be simultaneously in three, six, seven places at the same time. And so the fact that somebody could see that she had multiple bodies, so to speak, or multiple appendages, energy appendages, meant a big thing. And it was even more important because, like many things in the inner universe, there are also huge and intense competitions happening between spirits. If we think that the competition on earth is hairy, the competition sometimes between spirit friends at the inner universe can get incredible. But we're digressing for the main point. And the key is this, that some people imagine that once we depart from the earth, from the cycle of death and rebirth forever, that's it. We're done. But that's not it. There is a constant process of growth, spiritual growth, that continues. It's not just enough to be able to maintain a consciousness in the worlds of light beyond, but we need to use many of its freedoms. Imagine being able to walk across six universes simultaneously, to be able to deal with six people in completely different environments at the same time.
yes, growing from man to light and light to divine helper is an extraordinary process and sometimes it takes our doggy daughters, our panther children, our elephant little ones to show us this. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, visiting creatorschild.com and growing with God.